Shabbat Shalom. Welcome everyone to my bar mitzvah. I'm so excited to be with all of you here today. I started studying for my bar mitzvah with David over two years ago, and a lot has happened in the world since. It means so much to me that you all could come even during these crazy times. This has been a great experience. I've learned Hebrew and Torah, and that's part of being a Jew. I'm so excited to show you everything I've learned. Bar Mitzvah means sign of the commandment. It is a time in a Jewish person's life when they become a man and they have to read Torah. When I first started, it was really only because my parents were making me. But I've learned so much about what it means to be Bar Mitzvah and about our Jewish history. In Jewish tradition, we're instructed to look upon the fringes of the Talit and be reminded of the commandments of the Torah and the universal wisdom they contain. Today, as you wrap yourself in this Talit, may you see how following the directions of the commandments leads to a spiritually enriched life. We watch you as you accept your place in society and hope that this Talit will always bring you comfort, joy, and inspiration. As you are embraced in the folds of this Talit, so too are you wrapped in the loving embrace of your family and community. Amen. What we wish for you, we wish for all children. We wish for you to be a person of character, strong but not tough, gentle but not weak. We wish for you to be righteous, but not self-righteous, honest, but not unforgiving. Wherever your journey, may your steps be firm, and may you walk in just paths and not be afraid. Whenever you speak, may your words be words of wisdom and friendship. May your hands build and your heart preserve what is good and beautiful in our world. May the voices of the generations of our people move through you, and may the God of our ancestors be your God as well. May you know that there is a people, a rich heritage to which you belong, and from that sacred place you are connected to all who dwell on the earth. May the stories of our people be upon your heart, and may the grace of the Torah rhythm dance in your soul. Traditionally, Jews read the Torah three times a week, and each week has a specific Torah portion connected to it. The portion this week, and the one Jake will be reading three portions from, is Vayishlach. The thing I enjoyed the most was learning Hebrew. At first, I was nervous about reading Hebrew, but now I don't stress about it. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad We all respond the same. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad It is important to learn Hebrew so we can prepare for events like Bar Bat Mitzvahs participate in holidays, and communicate with people like me. I think that's pretty cool. I learned about the Hebrew language and how it's a part of our history. I like that many people don't know how to read Hebrew, but I do. It's rare. Our ancestors spoke Hebrew during good times and also secretly when they were oppressed, and now I know that language too. I'm excited to show you everything that I've learned and continue my family's tradition by chanting my bar mitzvah prayers and Torah in Hebrew. Thank you all for coming, and let's get started. Amen. Vayvater Yaakov levado, vaye avek ish imo ad alot ashachar vayar ki lo yaho lo vayigar bechafireho vatika kafirech Yaakov beheaveko imo. Vayomer shal hini ki ala mashe mecha hashahar Vayomer lo ashelecha ha ki im berach tani Jacob was left alone. All of a sudden, a man angel wrestled with him until the next day. When the angel man knew he wasn't going to win, 
He hit Jacob's hip and dislocated it from the socket as they continued fighting. Ew. The angel man said- That's not in there. <laughs> Every single important moment in a Jewish person's life is traditionally marked by being called to the Torah. And today, you will be called to the Torah for the very first time. This will be the moment where Jake takes his place in the chain of our tradition like people have done for generations before him. So no pressure. When I started to read and study my Torah portion, I realized that God showed up a lot a long time ago. In this portion, God sends an angel to literally show up and fight someone. So if God showed up in the past, why won't God show up now? I found this question really interesting because I don't know the answer and I don't know if anyone does. When researching, I learned about the word prophet. A prophet is a person who can receive messages from God or talk to God. I think we all have the ability to be prophets, but we have to earn it. I think we have to be good people, we have to work hard and experience life. Big bro on your bar mitzvah. We are all so proud of you and so happy for you on all days, especially this one. Mom and Dad always tell us that we will be each other's longest relationships and we should be each other's best friends. Lucky me, lucky us. I love you. Congratulations. Today, I am proud of you, big bro. You're doing such a great job, even though I don't know a lick of Hebrew, you sound really profesh. <laughs> I love you for being my brother, baseball buddy, Roblox partner, and friend who always has my back and will forever be right here. Aww. Mazel tov, you did it. Jake, I don't think it's a coincidence that the word son S-O-N, and the word sun, S-U-N, are pronounced the same way. Both provide light and warmth. And Jakey, all of us here today are blessed to bask in the warmth of your loving glow. You cherish your family and genuinely enjoy spending time with us. And we are all so lucky for it. My love, I think your potential is limitless and I can't wait to watch you soar into and throughout your adulthood. I wish for you to continue to be rich. Not rich in terms of money, but I mean truly, truly rich. Rich in joy, rich in health, rich in love, rich in relationships. And thank God you have a good running start. Keep it going. Mazel tov, Jakey. May your bar mitzvah day be one of many memorable, joyous occasions throughout your long, healthy, and happy life. I love you. I was not sure we were going to get here today. I have to be honest. But I am so incredibly proud of you. Because like everything else, you always step up when you have to. You put in the effort, you persevered, and you made it a priority to not only get through this day, but to embrace the teachings of Judaism, the symbolisms of your readings from the Torah, and the meaning of what it is to be a bar mitzvah. I know you feel a huge sense of relief, but I also hope you feel a tremendous sense of pride of knowing that you earned these accolades, that you accomplished your success through hard work and determination. Watching you grow up, being your dad, and oftentimes even your coach has been one of the greatest honors, joys of my, okay, I can do it, okay. <laughs> and although I miss the times when you were my little boy falling asleep on my chest, as you've grown and matured, so is our relationship. One of my most cherished times of the day is our nightly ritual of watching one of our Netflix shows before you go to bed when the rest of the house is all asleep. It's a selfish time for me when I have you all to myself. 
even leading up to this day, I know you learned, you know, learning Hebrew and studying for a bar mitzvah wasn't your first choice. And you did it largely for your parents and your family. But you were amazing. And you studied and you took on your responsibilities and you should be very, very proud of yourself. Continue to strive, to learn, to be intellectually curious and to push yourself. I promise you'll want to build on your success and learn to love learning and achievement, not just in school, but in life. Jakey boy, you made me a father and I'm having so much fun in this cherished role. I'm so proud of you on this and every day. Continue to be resilient and push through life's challenges to get to the successes and the joys. Continue to push yourself academically and intellectually. And as I'm sure you always will, always do it with heart. I love you, and I wish you a heartfelt mazel tov, my boy. Mazel tov. Hey. Mazel tov. I wanted to thank uh, Ted and, and Jenny and wish Jake the best of model for the years to come. And uh, he's going to be a blessing for the whole family and both his younger brothers. And this was one of the greatest bar mitzvahs <laughs> we have ever sat yeah, through. Yeah, we were so proud of him. He did and such so, a wonderful job. Such a wonderful thing. And he's such a sweet child. A man now, I guess. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's one of my favorites. <laughs> wonderful kid. Baby Jay, Jacob, I cannot believe you bar mitzvah already. What a magnificent day today. You, it was truly one of the best bar mitzvah, actually the best bar mitzvah I've ever been to. And that was a hard one to top because your mom's was amazing. I love you more than life. You're just everything that I wished possible to have in a grandchild. You are a wonderful, wonderful, special little boy that's given me infinite pleasure. My only comment is I would like to see you more, but pandemic had a hand in this. Anyhow, lots of love. Love you too much. Uh, How's it, Jake? It's uh, Callum Brook, obviously. <laughs> Mazel tov on the amazing occasion of your bar mitzvah. You were sensational this morning. We're very, very proud of you. And I'm um, just thinking what an amazing young man you've turned into. Jake, if it wasn't for you, your brilliant brothers and your amazing parents, I know that I would have been on a slow boat back to South Africa long ago. I wouldn't have survived. So I'm very proud to have you as my cousin. You're a wonderful young man. Mazel tov on this wonderful occasion. Mazel tov, Jakey. We love you. Oh, my Jakey, I am so proud of you. You are the most beautiful boy, and I am so proud to be your grandma. And I can't wait to take you to Las Vegas, where we are going to have a spectacular time. Again, honey, congratulations. You were wonderful, and I love you. Well, this is a fantastic bar mitzvah. Best service I've ever been to. Fantastic. And Jakey was great. He really was. It was beautiful. We thoroughly enjoyed it. And he kept it together. Yes, he did. Courtesy of Rick. <laughs> One, two, three. Mazel we love you so much. We're so proud of you. We didn't think this day would ever come. I hope you're laughing. Anyway, you are wonderful. You're a mensch. And we couldn't be more proud. And that was a fabulous bar mitzvah. And you did a wonderful job. Love you. Love you so much. I cried so much, as you can see. But, oh my god, I am just so proud of the man you've become. Aww. You're incredible. I love you so much. And I'm so glad you're my cousin. <laughs> I love you so much, Jake. You did such a beautiful job. You did wonderful, and I'm just so happy to have you as my cousin in our lives, and you've just been a blessing. You've been wonderful, so congratulations. We love you, you Jakey! So hey, Jake, it's your cousin, Jerry. Just so you know, I'm really now known as the fourth J-boy. Very proud of that fact. Just want to say congratulations. Unbelievable seeing you up there. Um, you know, obviously I've known you since you were born, 
which is crazy to think about. And uh, just to see you so mature and, and handling yourself. And I've just enjoyed spending this whole weekend with you. I love you and can't wait to spend more time with you. I had no faith in Jake. Like two months ago, he was horrible. I'm surprised he even <laughs> got out one word without David helping. Um, but yeah, he did it. Mazel tov. Great job, Jake. Uh, I never really saw Jake study <laughs> for the for the um, for his bar mitzvah, but he's a great brother and he he did he, great today. Yeah, he was amazing, better than I thought he could be. <laughs> <laughs> I always had faith in you. I love you. I'm so proud of you. I hope you enjoyed the whole service because you deserve to enjoy it because you were awesome and it was so heartfelt and meaningful and memorable and everything that you wish for your son on his bar mitzvah today. Mazel tov, I love you more than you will ever, ever know, baby. Jakey, I, everybody said that was just really their favorite bar mitzvah of all time. It was intimate, it was uh, emotional, it was beautiful, and it was very you. It was, um, it was just the most important people in the world in the room and you worked and you studied and you did step it up more than we all thought that maybe you would do but deep down i had faith that you would do I it i always had faith in you and i love the confidence <laughs> that you that you brought just by working hard to get to this day and your words were inspiring your actions were inspiring i love you and mazel tov Mwah, the best love you i never had faith in you <laughs> <laughs> nice joe Bye. we did mom and dad did love you